back. In today's video, I decided to show you seven healthy dinner ideas. So basically, I'm gonna be taking you through the entire week of dinners that I'm gonna be making for myself. Now, first and foremost, I wanna just mention that one, I'm not a nutritionist, and two, I'm not a dietitian. I don't have any schooling in that field. The meals that I'm gonna be cooking and showing you are just personal favorites of mine. They're things that I like to eat. For the most part, I eat very clean. I've mentioned it on my channel before, but I eat intuitively, so I eat what I want, when I want, how I want. I'm not on a strict diet or anything like that. I strongly believe in the 80-20 method, so I eat 80% whole healthy foods all of the time, very clean, and then 20% of the time I have snacks and treats and stuff like that. What you'll notice is for the most part, I have a quarter of my plate is carbs, a quarter of my plate is protein, and then half a plate of veggies. I try and aim for that from almost all of my meals, but you'll see that in today's video with my dinners. But I'm gonna stop talking. Today is Sunday, so I will see you guys tonight for my first dinner of the week. <music> Sunday's dinner. Now, I know a lot of people start the beginning of their week on Mondays, but personally, I like thinking and starting my motivation for the week on Sundays. Regardless, that's not the point of this video. My Sunday dinner, I am having rotisserie chicken. So last night, Alan and I bought one. I think we got it from Longo's, which is just a grocery store here in Canada. We had a lot of leftovers, so I warmed that up again. And then I have about a quarter of a plate of Brussels sprouts. I freaking love Brussels sprouts. They're so good. I just cooked them on the stovetop in a pan with some coconut oil. I like having my Brussels sprouts when they're really crispy, so they're really good on the stovetop. And then I just have some sweet potato fries. So I bought these in a package from Metro, which is just another grocery store here in Canada. I got the crinkle cut, and I put those in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at about 425. And yeah, this is what I'm having. Super excited. I freaking love sweet potato fries. You're probably gonna see those a lot this week, but I'm gonna eat this. Yum. <laughs> So it is Monday night and this is what I'm having for dinner. I'm having a big salad, so lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and then I put a whole salmon piece on it. It's so good. And then the dressing I'm using is French dressing. Obviously there's more healthy options like say Italian or whatever it may be, but I like French dressing with this salad. I think it's so freaking good. So basically I just cut up half of a lettuce head and then half of a tomato and then a little bit of a cucumber. I've been loving this, especially for lunches. I feel like it is so healthy and so good during the day, but I was honestly kind of feeling it for dinner just because I ate a lot today. I had a lot of snacks, so I didn't really want something that was filling for dinner and as you guys can probably see I'm not having any carbs even though I am craving sweet potatoes but this is gonna keep me full and then I may have some like sort of dessert after so we'll see about that <music> and this is my dinner for tonight. I'm having some turkey tacos. So I have some lettuce, some peppers that I cooked up, tomatoes that I cut up, half an avocado, and then I'm just having these Dempster's tortillas original. You definitely can have healthier versions. You can have like the veggie wraps or you can get the spinach wraps, but I'm just having the originals because honestly, I don't think they're too bad. Like they're only 100 calories, 2.5 grams of fat two grams of protein. So, I mean, it's not too bad. I'm probably gonna only have two, so that's fine. And then I'm having ground turkey. So with my tacos, I usually do have extra lean ground beef, but honestly, I just couldn't find it in the stores and I haven't had turkey ground beef, or tur ground turkey, sorry, in so long. So having that, then I have shredded cheese and then some lactose sour cream. This is the finished product. I put everything on it that I showed you guys. I am so excited. I just made one for now, but I'm honestly probably gonna have like two or three because your girl is hungry and it is Taco Tuesday, so I am going to splurge and enjoy. And then I also have my water with lemon. So I'm gonna eat this and I will see you guys tomorrow. <music> Hey guys, so it is Wednesday evening and I had a really good leg and booty workout today So I decided to have some carbs for dinner having spaghetti with some leftover turkey that I had yesterday with my tacos So I put the ground turkey in my tomato sauce and I mixed it all together cooked it together warmed it up And I put it with my spaghetti and then I have Parmesan cheese to top it off I have both shredded and grated because I'm obsessed with cheese. It is so good. This pasta looks absolutely phenomenal like I am so excited to eat it. I really wish you guys could smell it right now because it smells so dang good. And then again, I have a big glass of water with lemon. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for dinner because I need to get this in my belly right now. <music> 
Hey guys, happy Thursday. So this is my dinner for Thursday evening. I'm having some breaded chicken, some broccoli and peas, and sweet potatoes. I bought chicken breasts and I just cut them up into smaller pieces. And then to bread it, you just use flour, egg, breadcrumbs. Just use whatever breadcrumbs that you have. I don't get anything special. I just buy them from Walmart. And then I put the broccoli and the peas in a pan with coconut oil and then just topped it off with some pepper. And then I cooked my sweet potato fries. I showed you guys these earlier in the week. They're just the crinkle shaped sweet potatoes. They're so good. Oh my god I love them so much. I cook them in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes and then I have my glass of water and then I'm probably going to dunk my breaded chicken in ketchup. It is so tasty but look how colorful this dinner is. Loving that. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Friday. So this is my dinner for this evening. I have this chicken breast that I cut up into smaller pieces and I just cooked it on the stove in teriyaki sauce. It smells so good, I can't wait to get into that. And then I just roasted up some Brussels sprouts and peppers and then I have some herb and garlic or herb and butter. I think it's herb and butter mashed potatoes. So this is my dinner for today. So colorful, it smells really good. I kind of burnt my vegetables because I left them on for too long with the top on. But anyways, it looks so tasty. I've actually never had this mashed potatoes before. So Alan and I actually buy like a powdered mashed potato and we make it because cutting up actual mashed potatoes takes so long and I find that I can never get them like really pureed. So I grabbed the box because I actually wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So it's in a box and it's from Betty Crocker. Now the first time I saw these, I was like, okay, mashed potatoes in a pouch. That's kind of weird, but they're actually actually really good. The nutritional facts are pretty good. So for a quarter pouch, which is probably the amount that I put on my plate, there's 100 calories, one gram of fat, 21 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. So they are really good. And it's just so much easier to make than regular mashed potatoes. It only takes literally five minutes. So yeah, this is my dinner. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <music> Happy Saturday. So it's about 5.30. I'm eating a little bit early just because your girl is starving, but this is what I'm having for dinner. It looks so good. So I'm having a turkey stir fry. So I just cooked some ground turkey, the same one that I used for my tacos, but I bought another pack. And then I just cooked up some veggies. So as you guys can see, I have some broccoli, peppers, and there is mushrooms in there. It's hard to tell. And then I just cooked some rice and then I put all of it together in a saute pan or like one of those big stir fry pans. I don't know what they're called, but I put it in one of those with teriyaki sauce. This sauce that I buy is so good. You get it from Teriyaki Express. It's a restaurant. I don't know if it's just in Ontario or just Canada or if you guys have it in the US, but the sauce is so good and I'm almost out. I'm so sad. Now it is Saturday, so I'm probably going to have some sort of like dessert or like something later. That's why I'm kind of eating this now too, because I want like Saturday night nachos or something after for like a snack dessert type of thing. <laughs> dinner but I wanted to show you guys anyways I changed my mind I didn't want nachos this is gonna be my Saturday night dessert now I've shown these on my channel before these are from eat me guilt free they're protein brownies I have so many flavors but this particular one is a blondie and it basically just tastes like a vanilla cake and it has 22 grams of protein 17 grams of carbs 5 grams of fat and I just warmed up some crunchy peanut butter in the microwave I topped it on the brownie and then I just put a crap ton of straw strawberries as you can see. I'm definitely thinking of doing like a healthy dessert type of video because I'm really into these food videos that I've been doing lately so yeah keep out on the lookout for that but oh my god so good. It is literally gorgeous outside I need to show you guys. So this is the view from my condo. I think I've shown it before, but look how pretty that sunset is. What a beautiful Saturday night. So I'm going to end this video here. The sunset is so nice, but if I face this way, it is too dark. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope these seven healthy dinner ideas give you some ideas or options in your own eating style or eating habits. Again, they're all pretty easy to make. I'm not like a super complicated eater. I eat very simple. I eat a lot of the same things 
all of the time like what you guys saw that's probably what I eat week in and week out but I had a lot of fun recording it I actually am getting into these food videos I really like them if you guys haven't seen I also uploaded a snack video so it's four easy and healthy snack ideas I will link it up above make sure you watch that if you haven't already I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to me down below I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next video